Okay, so I finished the Dustlands Raging Star book, and today in the mail I'm waiting for the prequel Hunger Games book, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, if I got that right. So really excited to start on that. So this book, it goes by like nights and not by chapters, and then the last section had like three more nights and then there was like a couple extra section um so yeah and then just some acknowledgements page and yeah basically out of five stars i give this book like three stars by the time i finished it today october the 10th roughly 10 days to read this whole book but i give it about three stars out of five and it just takes place among the two characters and the woman is the angel of death uh, if I got everything correct the, the story picks up at the beginning it's very like action-packed and then around page 20 and like pages when it gets into the 30s uh, the story picks up so and then I'd say this the, this book, I would actually give it a higher star in terms of it kept my attention the whole way through. Yeah, it's very good in that it keeps your attention and it's very like um, action-packed between the two main characters and it's kind of like a book about how they were like saving the planet or like restarting the planet or something about oh, there's like like kids in the book too but it takes it's mostly about them too there's not like a lot of romance if you're looking for a romance book but there's a tiny bit of that in this book uh but i'd say and it's not too sci-fi ish it's more like um adventurous i'd say um but it is very good at keeping your attention the whole way through yeah i haven't read a book like this and since it's set on it, this was one of the ones from the thrift store, better than the Hunger Games, and when I said that to one of my brothers, and he said there was a new movie coming out, and I saw that there was a prequel of the Hunger Games book. I haven't read the other Hunger Games book, but I decided to order the prequel book, and I feel like once that comes and I start reading that, it's coming today, I'll be doing it in the right order, because it's meant to be read first, even though it was written last so I'm actually glad I haven't read the other Hunger Games uh, books so I can start with the prequel and then yeah looking re like really excited to start that today when that comes so yeah my other clip today will be showing when that comes in the mail and you can let me know if you've read this and if you have read the prequel already don't ruin it for me and I will give like a rating definitely after I read that book to let you guys know uh, what I think of it. actually not much later in the day and my Amazon package has arrived with the Hunger Games prequel book so we are going to open that up and I am enjoying a little more decaf coffee just gotta grab some scissors to open the box up this is actually a pretty heavy box I have a couple other things in this package but I think I'm gonna show those on another day so here is the Hunger Games prequel book so 
So the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins, a Hunger Games novel. So this, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was around 26 something all together um, with the tax. This was more. The paperback I think was around $18 uh, pre-tax. So the back of this says ambition will fuel him, competition will drive him, but power has its price. So yeah, really excited to start reading this today since I finished the thrift store book and I can use my bookmark from that for this. So yeah, this is what it looks like, all brand new. Yeah, those are the other Hunger Games books it's showing in the back there. This is what the front looks like. I'm not even going to look at how many pages. It's just going to be all a surprise reading this. So, oh, and this is the side. So yeah, I will give like a rating out of five stars once I actually read this entire book. So yeah, really excited to start reading this today now that I finished that other book. The timing was perfect for finishing that and this one coming today. The only other thing I actually did want to do for this video is I got it in the same box. Not just one of them because I've never had them before, so I'm like, I'm just gonna get one. I tried like the powder version of this that you mix with milk, but I've never tried like the pre-made breakfast carnation drinks, so I was thinking of just trying one. I am drinking my decaf right now, but I'm like, I think I'll just have uh, one and see if I like it. So yeah, this is the vanilla flavor. And it looked like they're always sold out of this in store at Walmart, so wanted to do a little sample to see if I like it. So it has 10 grams of protein, 26 vitam vitamins and minerals, and yeah, it is 240 calories. So let's see how this is versus... Uh, Insure, my usual brand, and like other brands I've tried because I've never tried the pre made uh, thing of this. So, gonna give my honest opinion. This might taste better refrigerated too, so if it doesn't taste too good, I will put it in the fridge. Okay, to me, <laughs> this may sound weird, but it tastes like a cold, white hot chocolate, or like white chocolate bar in a liquid form. <laughs> it tastes much different than Insure and Boost and all the other nutrition shakes I've tried, so. I can definitely taste like the artificial flavor in it. It's not like a bad taste compared to the other ones I've tasted. This definitely tastes better than Premier brand. Overall, actually, this is like, I would give this like 4 out of 5 stars. And a really good price, so. Yeah, that is it for this video. Let me know if you've uh, gotten this or read this. But don't ruin it for me if you have read it yet and that will be it and I did want to mention we did lose our grandfather on October the 6th um, so yeah I feel like it's all sunken in now at this point um, it has for a few days now but um, 
I'm actually going to be right. attending it uh, virtually via live stream on the morning of. It is quite a fair bit of a drive and everything, and yeah, I'm glad there's an option for the live stream. So, uh, yeah, he lived till 96, so very, very good age to live till. So, um, yeah, that is all I'm going to say about that and keeping this video lighthearted and I guess that is it. I'll see you in my next video. I am expecting another package, so I decided I'm just going to put that in a separate video rather than fit it in all in this and make it one long video. So yeah, stay tuned for my other video. Um, I'm not sure when it will be coming out, but stay tuned for that. Bye.